Continuing from step 21. Now you know how to make um, how to use the sweep tool. You're gonna make the main body of the car using the sweep tool and uh, sweep to rail. Okay, so these are the instructions right here. Let's just follow it and go to our Rhino drawing. Um, number one, make sure profile one is on. Make sure the main body is your active layer. Make sure cross section one is on and cross section two is should still be on. Okay, so if you have that, you will have the two profiles and all the six or twelve cross sections you made. The six first cross sections and the uh, six lines you made earlier, and it gives you a total of twelve cross sections. Okay, now sweep two, you can type it in. Sweep two, hit enter. It's asking you rail number one. Pick one of them, rail number two, pick the other one, and immediately asking you the cross sections. So cross sections, rotate around so you can select all your cross sections. I'm just going to drag the square starting from right, going to left, and it allows me to do a bigger selection. Now I have my cross sections selected. I have my cross sections selected. Now I'm just going to hit done, and then you can see the preview right here. Make sure the close sweep is checked and do not simplify as the tutorial says and just click on sweep and that's what you have right now okay let's go to step 22 so assembling the car still perspective view turn the side panels on and then you're going to join it okay um, perspective view side panels on right here so i have the side panels and the main body i can select the main body uh, hold on to shift select the side panels you made earlier and type join enter and if it works well all the colors should be the same you have a joined um, component right here but one thing it says though it is although it is joined it is it's an open poly surface uh, it's something you're gonna learn later on but just know that right now, if you were to 3D print this file, it would not work because it says it's an open poly surface. So it has to be a closed poly surface in order to be able to 3D print it. But for what we're trying to do, this is perfect. It's going to work fine. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is step 23. We're going to start making the wheel profile. So to do that, you need to make profile 2 as your active layer turn off all the other profile and then you're going to draw a rectangle starting at 0 going to 11 comma 9 and we're going to follow it and then you're going to draw some other small rectangles so let's just follow it really quick uh, profile 2 as my active layer turn off all the other profile okay and then it asks you to go to the top view top view right here and I'm going to select the rectangle tool First point of the rectangle is 0, enter. The other point of the rectangle is 11, 9, enter. So I have my first rectangle made, 11, 9. So now it says, select the polyline tool and draw a three-sided square starting from 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and end at 1, 0. Okay, so polyline tool. Okay, start it at 1, 1, enter. Then it asks to go, which one is the next one? From 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, enter, 0, 0, enter, and 1, 0 enter okay and enter that's my pulley line right here okay so it's a three-sided square as you can see it right here so now i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some copying to place it right here uh copy the three-sided square using zero zero as your base your origin and then you're gonna copy it at 10 2 10 4 and 10 6 okay so copy i can type it enter uh zero zero is my origin and then I'm gonna copy it at I'm gonna copy it at 
um, it asking me 10 to 10 comma 2 enter 10 comma 6 no 10 comma 4 first and then 10 comma 6 all right I have my three profiles copied and then we move on to the next step okay so they're right here all three copied we move on to the next step um, you're gonna draw delete the original square and draw one arc so the arc uh, you're gonna draw using the start end point on arc you're gonna draw starting from 2 comma 0 ending at 9 comma 0 alright so delete delete the original I don't know why it's not deleting delete the original okay so arc start end point on arc starting of my arc is 2 comma 0 2 comma 0 enter and end of arc is 9 comma 0 enter point on arc is 5.5 comma 0.7 5 5.5 comma 0.7 enter and that's my arc moving on step uh, next step so we're going to mirror the arc so select the arc start of mirror is 0 comma 5 end of mirror is 6 6 comma 0.5 okay so select the arc type mirror enter start of mirror is 0 comma 4.5 0 comma 4.5 enter end of mirror end of mirror actually you can pick any point along this but end of mirror it's this one so you can pick any point along this and then click done all right so i have it mirrored uh, now we're going to move on to step 24 we're going to edit the profile to edit the profile we're going to do some trimming first so it says select the wheel profile trim type trim and enter uh, select object to trim trim in between the arcs and then trim where the red X from the previous from the previous picture so the red X right here okay so let's go and do it so select the wheel profile I'm gonna select everything and type trim enter I'm gonna trim this line I'm gonna trim this line and I'm gonna trim in between my squares right here and done okay so trimming is done now after you trim it you're going to do fill it you should be familiar with fill it you did it before you fill it the big corners radius 1 and the small corners radius 0.03 all right so you did that before it should be still familiar to you so type fill it enter the radius for the big ones is 1 I'm going to type 1 and enter so fill it this corner and this that's number one this enter again you do have to reactivate fillet after each single fillet you do okay so for the small ones I need to change it to point three so radius is point three enter and then I'm gonna fill it this corner and this corner right here and repeat this and this recall the filler tool again and then repeat this one and this one recall and repeat okay and we're done with the wheel profile um, the next step is the next step is to join it all select the wheel profile join it so I'm gonna select everything right here and type join enter and it's now a closed police uh, a closed curve that's good all right so now we're going to make the wheel the actual wheel. we worked on the wheel profile and now we're going to make the actual wheel to do the actual wheel make sure wheel is your active layer select the wheel profile select the wheel profile go to the front view type revolve and enter okay so wheel is my active layer right here then select the wheel profile it's still selected I'm gonna to go to the front view I don't need these let me hide them 
I'm gonna go to the front view. So let's go back. We were at the top view. Select this right here. Go to the front view. Will is my active layer. And then type revolve. Okay, enter. So start of revolve. It's zero, zero, and enter. End of revolve. Press enter. So enter and full circle. Click on the full circle. Now you have your will right here. So if I go to the perspective view, you can see you just made a nice will. I'm going to change. Um, well, I'll leave it the way it is, but you have your will. Okay, so let's go back now to the front view and go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is edit cage editing. So I'm going to stop it right here so I can explain a little bit cage editing. So we will continue later on.